Well, I mean, I think um, the good news is that game provided us an opportunity to deal with some adversity and to really take a, a deeper look at ourselves and make sure that we're prepared going forward. Um, and then at some point, I think you just draw a line under that game and, and start preparing for Chicago. And I think we've already gotten to that point. Um, I mean, I think, I think we probably didn't make adjustments very quickly in that game to help put our team in the best position to win in terms of a system. Um, you know, I give part of that as credit to the rain because their system was so fluid that it was a challenge. But at the same time, I mean, I think that's something that, that we've got to be better at as coaches. No, I mean, you know, I think, um, you know, this is something we're going to talk about today with our team. It's, you know, the law of competition, you know, it's zero and zero. People, people don't generally uh, watch games over again because they know what's going to happen, right? Um, but the cool thing about the law of competition is you can't really change what you did yesterday and you can't really affect tomorrow, but you can work on what you have right in front of you. And that's kind of where we are, is like right in front of us is a good day to get some training in. We're trying to balance that with some recovery because it's a really short turnaround, but still get some learning out of this that'll prepare us better for Chicago. Um, not that I'm aware of. I mean, I think we have a couple of little people that are, you know, kind of recovering a little bit slower, mm -hmm. but um, I think I anticipate that they'll be fine by the time game time rolls. Yeah, out. I mean, she's she's working her way back through uh, recovery from her injury, but um, I'm not sure she's that close right yet. Yeah, I mean, we're really paying very close attention to the wellness scores that they return to us, looking at their numbers from the load of the game and, and you know, at times making recommendations, but in the end, the player can, you know, opt in or opt out of some of the stuff that we're asking them to do in terms of um, if we're saying, hey, you're limited or managed and they want to do a little bit more, then after a discussion with our performance team, we come to a conclusion. With that. Um, I mean, I think both those games are going to be independent games of each other. You know, they're both 90 minute games or more. If, if, I mean, in terms of the second one, like I guess that's 180 minute games, <laughs> um, but they're, they're two 90 minute games separately in the sense of um, we just have to look at them one Well, I think this is a team that looks a little different than last time we played them, but so do we. Um, you know, they have some key players back. They have some players playing that didn't play in the last game, um, but I think they would probably say the same. You know, this week is a, a little bit limited in training, so it's going to be more, um, you know, walkthrough reps, video, um, trying to get people on the same page with some of the things that we're trying to do. I don't do. know. I mean, that's some of the things we're talking about this week is what that partnership or partnerships look like. Um, and trying to figure out where we can put the people in the best place to take advantage of what they bring.